In this video, I'm going to show you how to import your Google Ads campaigns into Microsoft Ads. So if you are looking to take your winning campaign structure from Google into Microsoft and you don't want to sit there and copy and paste keywords and ads and your entire structure, this is going to save you lots of time and you could probably get it done within 30 minutes or less and also have accuracy in terms of selecting the correct settings so that you're not spending unnecessary money with Microsoft advertising because it might look easy in terms of import, but there's a lot of default settings in there that's designed to get you to spend more with Microsoft advertising. So be on the lookout for that and I'll walk you through how to import it. But before then, I want to quickly introduce myself. My name is Michelle. I'm the founder of Level 28 Media and I help local service-based businesses generate leads through Google Ads and Microsoft Ads. So if you're interested in an audit or a consultation, feel free to check out the link below. And now I'm going to go ahead and dive in. The first thing you're going to want to do is log into your Microsoft Ads dashboard, go to import on the left side, and then select import from Google Ads. Make sure that you sign in with the correct Google Ads account or the email that's associated with the account that you want to import from. And it's already been done here, so you're not going to see that step, but you it might look a little bit different if you haven't signed into Google yet. There might be a button here that says select which Google account that you want to import from. I've already done that, so click continue. Now I'm going to select the account that I want to import from and I'm just going to type in the account. Make sure that that this account is going to be imported from Google into the same account for Microsoft. Then click next. Then it's going to say you're ready to start your import. While this looks amazing and might seem a little too easy, it is. <laughs> Uh, they designed it so that you could do it within a minute. But what I want you to select is, let's see, custom schedule and select once now. The reason for selecting once now is because I do not want Microsoft to be importing from Google on a set daily schedule because I might be making changes in Google that I don't want to apply to Microsoft. A lot of advertisers will use a copy and paste strategy from Google to Microsoft, but the performance is different and your budget allocation might be very different. For instance, when I work with certain clients, I usually tell them to allocate, if we're starting with Google and then we start sh wanting to test Microsoft ads, we'll dedicate about 20% of the budget to Microsoft ads, or we'll shave off 20% of the Google budget and give it to the Microsoft ads campaigns. Now, the challenge with this is if you select daily, weekly, monthly, it's going to select the budgets that you already have in Google and just override whatever you have in Microsoft. That's why I don't like to have a custom schedule. I want to always, always have control of when I manually up uh, import and I always select once now. I never select automated schedule. Anytime that it says recommended, it's typically not recommended from, from me. It's typically recommended from Microsoft because they want you to accidentally forget that you're importing uh, from Google and they want the same budget that you're allocating to Google. Next here, customize budgets. I typically keep these all off. Sometimes these are default settings, but I won't, I will, I will not have these selected. But the next thing that I want you to do is select advanced settings. Then it's going to show it's going to ask you which campaigns and ad groups do you want to import. Import all existing and new campaigns, import specific campaigns and ad groups. If your Google account has hundreds of campaigns that you no longer use, I would just bypass this one and select this one. Typically, I just select this one in general. 
Um, even if I don't have that many campaigns, it's just easy for me to just come in here and select the ones that are already doing well in Google that I wanna import directly into Bing. Next, select next. And then just make sure that the settings here for your checking template is correct. If not, if you don't want the, it to import the account level uh, tracking template, you can deselect that. Then if there's imports, items not uh, previously imported into Microsoft advertising, then you would select that. Updates to existing items, delete items that have been removed from your Google Ads account. But these are all fine. Increase keyword ad group and auto target bids to the recommended value. I don't want Microsoft to have any control over my, my bidding or my budgets. So I undo all of these. Update existing campaign budgets. I don't want them to take the budget there. Increase product group bids. This is more for shopping, so I don't really care about that. Landing page URLs, that's fine. So as you can see, I only really selected these four. And this will protect you from Microsoft Ads trying to take the Google Ads budget and update certain bid strategies and bids uh, to what it wants you to spend. So that's that. Then I'll click next. Then I would just click now or now because I had already set it to import now. I would just start the import and then it will take you to this next page and show you what steps it's on. This can take up to five minutes. So let's give it some time here. I'm gonna pause it until it's done. All right, so we're back and it's going to show you what was synced and if there were any issues. Here it said it synced 349 items, it deleted 22 and it skipped certain items. You can click view details to see what it synced and what it potentially skipped. Just note that if it skipped something, it might just be because there's some features in Google that's not available in Microsoft and vice versa, but you can take a look. There's also a report that you can download as well. Now it's going to say set schedule or view imported campaigns. I just click on view import campaigns because if you set schedule, it's going to set a schedule to keep importing and you don't want it to keep importing without your permission. And typically for best practice for me, I do not do any automated import or scheduled import. I always set the import whenever I want to so I can have full control over it because it can take, um, it, it can do, it can override certain things without you even realizing it. So that's the one dangerous thing. And here it is taking your Google ads budget. So just make sure that you are adjusting your budget in Microsoft to whatever it should be. Now, if it's the same as Google, that's great, but usually the budget for Bing or Microsoft Ads is a little bit lower or is lower for the campaigns that I run. And you also might want to take a look at some of your assets and settings and ad extensions because there are some extensions that Google has that Bing doesn't have and vice versa. Like Bing has app extensions, filter link, flyer, image. I think Google has image extensions now, logo extensions, review, video extensions. So everything that I mentioned, those are all specific to Bing. Make sure that you're using those when you set up your campaign. So that's pretty much it. And hopefully this this video will help you avoid some common pitfalls with importing and show you how easy it is, but how 
how easy it is to potentially make a mistake when you're importing. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to address them. If you like this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and I'll be happy to see you in the next video.